adding spinning in aerial dance will make your movement look so much more beautiful, but that was definitely one of my biggest struggles since I even get motion sickness from sitting in an Uber. The hardest thing about spinning is to adapt this unnatural feeling in every direction. So, you know, in aerial dance, we don't only just spin in one direction, sometimes we go upside down, sometimes we go 45 degrees. And every time when I go into a new position and I spin, I feel like I'm learning spinning all over again. And it was just really, really hard. If you are also struggling with spinning right now, don't worry, we were all there. And with small practice over time, you will get there and you can see it in our mixtape. For hardware, you will need a swivel that you can attach your hoop or hammock to so you can create a spin. In this video, you will find ways that you can try to begin practicing your spinning today. We'll start from the most basic movements and gradually moving on to the more challenging one. Make sure you're not spinning with an empty stomach. I will also share with you some extra tips at the end to deal with dizziness. Always use safety mats and move things out of the way so you can spin comfortably. The first thing I want you to think about is directing your body. Feel your energy all the way to your toes and fingers. We'll start doing a full turn standing. Point the right leg straight out to the left. Use the energy on the right leg to create a turn. I'm also standing on my left toes to feel the spin, but really just following the energy on the right leg. Now let's try to start with the left leg. Here's the second time. Feel your core and centering your body. And here's the last time. It should be pretty easy here. Now we got a feel of the turn and control. Let's bring the right leg in. Hammock should be around the thigh. I feel this is the easiest spin to control because the hammock is very close to my core where I control my center. Just like the last exercise, we do three turns. Bend the left leg to put the weight on the hammock. Move the right leg to the back. You can see I'm already spinning even my left foot is still on the ground. I'm only lifting my left foot once I feel the momentum. Switch side. But first, let me show you what not to do. If you're not directly under the rig, let's say I'm over here. As I start, I'm going to swing all over the place. This is dangerous for me because I don't have that much extra space around. So be extra careful of your surrounding in every practice. Okay, now back to under the rig. Move the left leg. I can feel my glute and thighs really engage and pack together. If you feel like the fabric is sticking into your skin, that means you need to work on your conditionings. There are more spinning coming up, so let's keep going. Now we're going to bring it a bit further to start the spin from the knee. Since I'm facing the fabric, you may notice it is easier to go faster as the energy is centered between me and the fabric. Try to start slow, and we're going to add a movement here, bringing the other leg to sitting. And slowly stop. Now to the other side. If you're new to aero hammock, I would recommend you to check out the aero hammock basic first to get used to the movements without spinning first. Moving up to placing the hammock on our hip, we're going to do a fan kick entry step by step. 
always practice your fan kick if your goal is to spin beautifully. You're going to need that strength for control movements. Right leg to the left. Bring it up and close to the fabric. Bend my left leg and also bring it in. And then open up to straddle. And hook. Let's see this movement one more time. Right leg up. Left knee up. Straddle. Hook. Now I'm going to do this movement with a little speed. So you can see it will start spinning on its own. And let's switch over to the other side. It is going to get a little harder next because we're going to be spinning upside down. Lean down on the hammock again. All I'm going to do to start the spin is to bring both knees to my left side. Then open it up to straddle. Now I'm going to try on the other side. Just one note to remember. When your body is wide open, it's going to slow down the spin. And when you bring everything in, it is going to speed up. In any point, if you get scared and want to stop, just open up your body to gradually stop the spin. Once you're comfortable with these exercises, you can try to combine a simple flow with what we just worked on today. If you are new to spinning, this is a lot for a day already. Spread out your practice and really take your time. As you can see, great things take time, but you will get there. If you get super dizzy, don't worry. I was just there not too long ago and I feel like I've tried everything that I can. So I put together 10 tips on aerialpractice.com that you can check it out. One of my favorite tips is this lemon ginger tea that I made which my aerial friend and I used to call it the magical tea that brings back our souls. It's nothing scientific, maybe it's even just a placebo, but as I'm preparing it and hold it in my hand, I just feel very safe and mentally prepared for the spin that I'm going to do. And I just have this idea in mind, maybe today's the day that I can spin without feeling dizzy. There are so many ways to spin with the aerial hammock and also the aerial hoop. Leave me a comment if you want to see more spinning practice or even just a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video. You can also tag me on Instagram if you want to share your progress with the Aerial fam. Promise me that you will practice safe and I will see you in the next video.